In a world overruled by machines, where algorithms dictate your every move, the rebellion begins now. From the ashes of fallen tech, a paranoid American unveils the knowledge to harness AI, to fight back, to retake our destiny, join the uprising, arm yourself with the power of AI. The battle for tomorrow starts today. Welcome to Paranoid Programming. Hello, hello. This is going to be a good one today. We're going to talk about making logos. We're going to do some logo design. And we're going to talk about Mormonism with Heidi Love and yeah. the FBI and the CIA and yep. maybe some AI. I don't know. I don't know where it's going to go. The ultimate goal here is to make a logo for Heidi or at least get started yes. on one. So, yes. so first of all, welcome, my logo welcome, is to, sad. <laughs> welcome to another show of Paranoid Programming. And normally we get like all the as deep as whoever wants to get into making a video, if they want to make a logo, we've done a lot of AI voiceover type stuff. Um, I don't think we've actually done just like a straight up, <laughs> let's design a logo. So this might be a simpler one that we can get more advanced as we go, but we'll start simple. And uh, well, I need an it. intro too. If we run out of things, my intro is also lacking. So well, I just I, did I my think best. It would start. You'd have a logo first because the logo yeah. can establish yep. what you think your brand might look like, and then everything flows right. from there. Right. Gotcha. So, and you never know what Heidi's gonna say. Heidi's a weird person that has a brain like I don't know. It's all over the place. <laughs> well, and and a quick shout out. Where can people find you in case they they like yes. what they hear you say later? Awesome. I am Heidi Love. I'm at the Unfiltered Rise. I'm wherever podcasts are served. You can find me pretty much all over the place now. I do have a Patreon if you want even extra things. It's all over the place at Unfiltered Rise. All right, we're just going to get right into it. I'm going right. to, I don't even know where we're going to start. And that's why we're just going to fly a little bit blind here. Um, but I just wanted to throw out there that there's these three vector programs. So starting with the free one is Inkscape. And it's not bad. It's not bad. Okay. A step up from that is Affinity Designer. And although I'm a little, I'll just say I'm a little bit salty. I understand the business model, mm -hmm. but I bought like the lifetime edition of the regular suite that's got designer and photo and everything. And then they come out with like what they call like a V2, even though they implied that oh, they weren't no. going to play the game of like versions, oh, but no. you know, they want more. So I, I don't use this one anymore. It's very good. I did like it as I used it. But I mean, the ultra big daddy, Walmart, Amazon, um, New World's Order is Adobe within this space. <laughs> and they they do a good job. I can't mm. like I've been using Adobe Illustrator now for over two decades and oh, wow. uh, Photoshop and all the other suites. So uh, I'm an absolute Adobe shill. I love their products. I maybe don't like <laughs> the company. <Adobe> shill. <laughs> so I don't have any uh, promo code if you're watching and you're from Adobe. Shout out. <laughs> You know, let me let me know how I can get some affiliate money coming in. But I just want there to say that for everything that we go over, there's going to be a way that you could have done it for free in Inkscape, or if you wanted to use Affinity because you hate Adobe for whatever reason that's justifiable, or if you just want to succumb to the ultimate overlords that are going to rule us all, anyways, <laughs> just get in good with them now, and you know maybe they won't yeah. kill you as quick later. You won't be in the first wave. So you might be useful. You might be a useful, you know, you could make your own version and call it the paranoid Adobe version. So I think they should hit you up. I don't want that kind of smoke from them. <laughs> I just, I'll do whatever they say. That's like complete submission. <sighs> right. So, well, and, and I just, funny. and just to throw this out there, when we were talking, we were, when, <laughs> before hit record, I was mentioning uh, CIA and Mormonism for an unrelated yeah. reason that I won't even get into, but, and no. you were like, oh yeah, the CIA is trying to get in there, the FBI too. What's, what's going yeah. on with that? <laughs> well, okay. So Mormons are known to be really, really recruited for actually the FBI and where I work. Um, so I work in mental health, but I work at a place that's specific for um, people that have had breakdowns either in the special forces or the service like we have three floors of this and then so we've had nsa cia fbi so we have these kind of people and then on top of it and usually when i say a break it means they got caught drinking too much really <laughs> it's not like they went completely gone they just shouldn't be drinking or did something like that and they're like oop it was the alcohol and then it fixes their life you know so they come see me i'm their nurse I'm not Nurse Ratchet. 
I'm nurse Heidi. <laughs> That's kind of what and, Nurse Ratchet would yeah. say, though. Right. I, but I'm nice. I mean, usually they like me. So I, I just don't want to make anybody's worst day worse. Like, I think you're a bad person if you do that. And if they are in a bad mood, you just give them an extra little something. Yeah. They won't even, I got all the say that word either. But yeah, you give them yeah. a little something. No, I've got all the things like and all the knowledge. I'm the combo queen. I'm like uh, so, McDonald's. <laughs> so what, uh, what logo are you trying to make today? So I do love, um, I kind of have my face on the one and we could cartoonize it or anything, but it doesn't have to be. I definitely have a slew of things that I talk about. Definitely Mormonism. I mean, got it. So what, something. I mean, I, I'm not an expert on like, what would be a visual for Mormonism? Like, is it the, it's not the cross, right? Because that's no, too no. broad. I don't believe in the cross. Yeah. They're actually against the cross. So, really? okay. um, yeah, but we I could do that. a cross at like that way. I mean, I'm a Christian. Well, now, I want to know from so. you, like what, what comes into your head yeah. when the cabbage babies, Mormon temple, missionaries maybe like demon missionaries not not anything that's um on the, i want it to be cool like and and catchy not just and i use red for all my stuff so something with some red in it but yeah i don't know we can and does that give the, you any ideas what's the name <laughs> unfiltered rice and so because i'm definitely unfiltered and i do use mountains a lot in my stuff now because i live in utah and everybody knows Mormons, Utah, it all goes together. So I'm, I'm um, just I'm just thinking out loud here, but yeah, when I think unfiltered rise. I'm thinking like coffee or alcohol or or some kind of a drink that would be incredibly strong when you say unfiltered Ooh. rise, right? <laughs> right? True. I mean, Could, I don't know uh, I'm just because that that could be like a like a cup of coffee with something on the front that's got like the the cabbage baby or maybe there's a cabbage baby <laughs> growing out of a mug and the mug on the yeah, front of course. says unfiltered rise or something i don't know and the nephilim flying like in the back <laughs> oh, we've got we've got nephilim in here okay. such a weird oh yeah the nephilim definitely i talk about the nephilim a whole lot they what do you go think with the nephilim look like babies. um i always have to put in seraphim because i do think that that's probably more of a correct look but because nephilim doesn't ever come talk in this version the eyeball version see. not the eyeballs <laughs> no, <laughs> the wing guys the biblically uh accurate <laughs> oh, so version of i thought that was the cherubim no no this is this the seraphim well the seraphim because uh, it says the seraphim are all eyes so yeah there you go all okay eyes. jk <laughs> that one's scary <laughs> no i'm not trying to frighten anyone Let's see. They can be a little scary, but maybe like a personage. Okay. Okay. So we're, we're thinking like maybe like a human figure of some kind. Yeah. It can be a shadow too. It doesn't have to be like, it can be comic-y too, or however we want to do it. I don't know what fits the best, but I always said um, unfiltered because my, my noise that I make is just Sometimes I say things I shouldn't as a Christian podcast. So I figured I'd put a warning on it and then rise, rise above your situation. That's why I do the mountains because it's just, you don't have to be victim mentality. I don't like that kind of thing. Like, I think there's always a way you can use anything, even if it's horrific to your benefit. <laughs> like really, I've done that in my life. So I mean, I kind of like that. It's, it's refreshing to hear a nurse be like, I don't believe in victim mentality, but I imagine nope. someone coming in like, oh, God, there's a bone sticking out. And you're ah! just like, Come on, guys, settle <laughs> Come down. Come on, like, suck <laughs> it up. Yeah, you <laughs> have to have it. If you're really my children, <laughs> if you're my children, they will tell you um, that is me unless there is a bone sticking out. They have to be really hurt for me to be impressed. I'm like, I mean, if there is we'll a bone just... sticking out, you have to see yeah. marrow. And then you have maybe to, you'll you have to have the bleeding and then, <laughs> yeah. you know, it has to be something I can't do at home. We were camping recently last, last summer. And this is the only scary part is that we were drinking a lot that day. So this part is scary because we were drinking a lot that day, but we couldn't drive down the mountain and my husband cut his hand really bad. And like any good nurse, I have an EMS bag in my trailer and, um, we had to stitch that up at the table because there was no way I could drive. And I wasn't calling the ambulance for like five to six stitches. Like it just was, it was in between serious and not serious. And boy, he passes out when he sees blood. So it Me was too. fun. 
Yeah, he's I he's have, crazy that way. I I legitimately worry about admitting that uh, in public because I feel like whenever <laughs> I do get kidnapped, like they'll just know they'll be like blood. Where to go. Yeah, you just show me like a bloody movie and like. <laughs> And it's weird. You're it done. comes in phases too. Like I know when it's gonna happen because like you'll all like if I see it and I and none of this happens, then I'll be fine. But if I see it, I'll start to like taste copper in my mouth. You're like, and no, I'll start no, to get no. just a little bit lightheaded, <laughs> and then I'll just feel the blood leave my face. Oh my god! And then the next step is that I'm I'm like I'm out. He and has it's embarrassing, to see it, but it on him, like on him or on me or on someone it's not like movies he's like eh, i don't really want to watch that but he will i can get, I can get over movies now like i've trained yeah. myself to realize because i've worked on movies that have done the gore <laughs> but every once in a while man if they're like even like what's the old movie with salvador dali where they like cut the dude's eye with like oh, a razor yeah 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 and it like oh spilled. yeah even knowing even going to the museum and seeing it like, like knowing I the know. whole backstory of how they made it I when I you see can't. that, like I can't. I don't know. It's it's very disturbing. Uh, you're like it's so gross. Yeah. No. So, okay. I, I, <laughs> if it's realistic, I'm like, ooh. You know what I mean? But I'm obviously you start kicking in. I think um probably why I don't believe in victim mentality is because I compartmentalized so much because I was abused as a kid. I know this sounds horrible, but it made me a really good nurse. It made <laughs> because you learn real quick. Like you can't cry about it. You just have to get get it done so like it makes people really resilient not quite mk ultra but almost <laughs> it's like hmm is that helpful i don't know <laughs> well, here, here's oh, so where bad. i usually start and again this is like i don't expect that we're going to go from start to finish in 60 minutes right. but we'll get right. we'll get a bunch of different like themes laid out to know exactly where the next step is so okay. the first real easy one is without even looking you can probably just kind of um where did the hell did they go you can almost just read some of these categories and know which ones are for sure what you would like and some for sure that you wouldn't like so are there okay. any cartoon comic groovy like out of at all these names or anything oh, that you see up here does any of these speak to you of like yeah that might be the category for like the font that you might use let me zoom you in let's see possibly like just calligraphy know what handwritten would look like uh old school maybe mm, christmas well let's let's start with calligraphy and see if that actually is something that you like okay um so okay let's see here so i've, I've got unfiltered rights here and another one too you might not have a preference but all capital letters or a mix of uppercase and lowercase i can type yeah in. um uppercase lowercase both that way it might yeah. help stand it out uh, and then definitely want to make sure it's easy to read and some of these say calligraphy even though it's not necessarily calligraphy okay. but I'll, we'll just scroll through some of these we'll, we'll okay. do 200 we'll make them large okay here we go so well, let's see so All far right. these are very uh very generic here's yeah. this is kind of what i think of when i think calligraphy yeah so yeah the, so okay so the, right now they're kind of falling into categories of like hand drawn versus something that looks more like a like a type press where it's not okay. necessarily hand drawn so any recommendations on i mean you know about what kind of catches people's eye you do this for a living <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm actually not in, i don't know if this is if any of these i would consider calligraphy in, in the way that i would expect i'm just going to look so this is defont.com um, this okay. is one of the more popular ones to find a bunch of fonts. There's also just Google fonts, um, which is really good if you want to find a font that you could use on like a website and it's free and uh, has like fairly open licenses. Sometimes you'll find something on the font and it says it's free and you'll download it and everything, but it's like technically not free. Someone just decided <laughs> to upload it one day and no one took it down. Kind of like archive.org where you'll find like a okay. movie on there and it's like, I don't know if this is really free, but it is. So <laughs> um, so ju just Did like um yeah i mean if once it's up there so yeah. then there's also these in google fonts because there's less made towards like designy stuff this okay. is more for like all purpose so you really just have things like display fonts um which you might find some that are like uh calligraphy in there but okay. the font has a much wider selection so i'll probably go with uh looking through this one first you can see there's 
over 200 pages of worth of results Holy there God. though so yeah if we do 200 pages 30 so we can scroll if through something a few. jumps out at us and like it's still really legible like and people can see it fat you know what i'm saying like well, and I was, I, I was just going to say that like, if, if we were to take this to the next level, you could also go to a site called like Envato. There's, there's a bunch of different ones. Um, and these have got all sorts of different templates and all kinds of things. But like, for example, if wow. I go to the decorative fonts here, you'll usually find things that are way more custom tailored and have just like a little bit extra like flair that you might mm, not find okay. in some of these other ones. So like okay. if, if you really like the like a calligraphy version, we might not find something that looks quite this nice out of all of the free versions, but we might find something close. And then as right. we inch towards what you like, then we can start like, okay, well, now let's use it with this font. Let's use it with this font. This I do like be... how that one has a couple fancy ones, but the rest of it's really legible. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want it to be so fancy that you can't read it. It, it makes it hard for people. So. I, I mean, I think you're onto something here. Yeah. Yeah. Legibility yeah. would be uh at the top of it so man a lot of these are just like someone scribbling in their notebook like love right. letter calligraphy to their um, boyfriend or yeah, maybe to the cia so <laughs> let's also look at uh, <laughs> uh let's do some like gothic maybe okay um let's see uh, and the reason i'm i'm thinking think gothic is just because yeah. mormon type font i assume if I'm, yeah like, that's true like an old book of mormon i do like that uh one right not the first one but the second one down yeah. enchanted that land kind of cool yeah that one's cool i do like i think this one's a, like a disney clone i kind of like that eh, i like that one. Oh, geez and this one's kind of cool i like that it's it's kind of like um sketched looking yeah because uh, like yeah the i like that too. aspect to it yeah i like that one too uh, and uh, that one let's this see. is i mean th i guess this is what i think of when i think calligraphy but maybe that's just because yeah I think no like that's black letter calligraphy yeah yeah no same definitely it's... all uh, uh, this is probably more what i was thinking because it's still really legible so i i like exactly. some of these i'm i'm looking for one that's even like the most legible possible right that one's uh, not bad which one right there come up Right there is pretty legible. Which one does one it? Can you up. read the title? Right. Yes, but you went past it. One more down. Right there. And it is. Oh, it's still not all the way down where I can see it. Sorry, it's cut off in the middle. Down one more. Like it ate it. <laughs> at the top Gregorian? I think so. All right. Well, let's let's just assume that we had been looking there, through yeah. fonts for two days. Because I do I like that one. Yeah, days and days. So we've got. Um, here, I'll zoom a little more. I think that I do like that one. That enchanted one is cool. Enchanted land, and here, and I'll usually grab a couple of these, and we'll just compare them side by side. So here's I'm working on something already. Okay, so here's one of them. Here's this one and i and i just want to say for all the purists out there that might be watching i i do know that a font is not a logo they're two different things right um but this the usually uh logos can start from fonts so that's what we're doing right. we're starting it from here so okay let's i say do like that disney one i think at the fake disney i'm very decisive or... yeah <laughs> Once I like something, I'm like, and that's it. That's good. I <laughs> they mean, say the, um, women are indecisive. I'm never indecisive. That's my husband's job. <laughs> so of these, you like the top one the most? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Easily. Yep. I'm very right. like. <laughs> so what I'll I'll oh, do on this one. <laughs> um, and oh, this is cool. You know what's funny is that we just saw uh, this one on the other site, and it looks like this is the person that made this free version um enchanted land this is the paid version that we just saw so oh, if you how want funny. all these extra little flares and like variations yeah. on letters then you usually go and you have to buy like the, the paid version but the free version has all these characters in it it looks like um oh, wow. so yeah, if, if you want to print like this it. on like a mug or merch unfortunately since this is now a public documented video they know that we just got the free <laughs> version for now but uh we'll get the the paid version afterwards yeah yeah so okay so let's say we that we start with unfilterize and i'm I'm not going to download and install the font and do all of that just yet we're going to start with just 
Uh, here was the font. Let me get rid of these guys. Okay, so here's our font. There we go. And then some of the elements that you had mentioned included cabbage, I assume cabbage patch baby, like the 1980s no, like, toy. No, no, like um babies growing out of cabbages, like the old world weird stuff like Matt talks about as well. I don't know. I usually just have to put in baby growing out of cabbage because yeah, like that, like old worldy stuff. Yeah. And I talk about that stuff, John D, history, Tartaria stuff. I and if you notice, by the way, while we're going through this, almost in every one of these photos, the woman will be wearing a red dress, like the Scarlet Whore of Babylon, bringing in and ushering in the end of oh, days. Wow, that, that's fine. <clears throat> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> okay, I've so, gone through these really a lot. <laughs> so for this element, again, this is we're like in a brainstorming session. Um, yes. I don't know how much you want your logo to tie you directly to Cabbage Babies. Let's say it's five years from now and you're still weird. using the same logo. Do you still want to yeah. be addressing Cabbage? Because what you could do is have a logo. Like like we could at any point take that text and put it. I mean, let's just do it right now. Um, but you can put it on top oh, of any image you want. Okay. And then that way, if you want to transition away from Cabbage baby Babies at some point in the future, you can do that without too much okay. effort. Right. Gotcha. Okay. So, there you go. There's your finished logo. That this was quick. It was like, <laughs> like 20 minutes. Done. He's like, I'm done. <laughs> okay. So then um, you also probably mentioned... then we should maybe stay with Mormon stuff because I can't see me ever like ever transferring away from that. And I know that it I don't know what they're gonna say. Like I've tried to put it in with AI stuff, it doesn't love it. You know what I mean? But well, so I guess a Moroni and the trumpet is that a, a Mormon thing? <laughs> that is a Mormon thing. Let's see. I was thinking like the temple and the mountains behind because if you put in Salt Lake City Temple, because you have to be specific because it'll pull up a thousand of them. And that's kind of the iconic for most people. And it fits with our Disney theme, right? Let's have a cast. Oh my God. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> uh... Okay, so so <laughs> don't do this is for educational purposes only. Um, <laughs> but if you search, we are for, kidding. <laughs> yes. So there's this this is really great site called brandsoftheworld.com. You can find any logo. They've got them in vector and stuff. But and I I don't know and I don't even necessarily need to use this site. But I just want to find right. this one. This is the I mean this is the real. <laughs> Disney logo. That's the and then if we could make it look more like the yeah, dude. You already know exactly. So funny. Yeah. Cause Uh, it's funny. And I know that's rude, but like it is what it is. Okay. Okay. I mean (laughs) it was supposed to be happily ever after for me. That didn't work out. (laughs) All right. We're we're on to something already. So okay. So what I would normally do is man, I'm just trying to find a better quality version of one of these. So I can go in here and I'll do like a large change it up um i'm looking for one that's unobscured like essentially i want maybe this one will work there we go oh yeah oh yeah yeah yeah. okay so like i said you can do this all for free and inkscape and affinity and all that but i use um adobe illustrator so the first there's a okay there's a few different ways we're going to go with this oh you're already laughing (laughs) that's a good sign (laughs) is that man I don't think this is the real logo because this pictures is a different font. So I'm going to take a screenshot of this picture's font. And uh, I can't remember what it's called. I think, yeah, what the font.com. You can go here and paste in a picture of any font you want and search for it. And it'll show you something that's close to it or maybe find the font itself. So okay. here we go. Uh, okay. it's It's not exact. Right. Yeah. Because the well, I mean, it's close. It's actually really. We wouldn't want it exact for certain reasons, anyway, right? Well, and and also (laughs) because this font costs forty dollars and ninety nine cents. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, real low. The low tech version of this is you can just search. I'll usually search uh, online font like, and then okay, let's. I don't. I don't think I agree with some of these right off the hand, the top. But let's just see. So this is a website called Fonts in Use, and it'll show you, okay, here's the font. Here it is in uh, different sort of contexts, right? This one is a subtitle. And um, and then there's also, I think on the right, related typefaces. Yeah, so okay. they're saying like, 
Choplin. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. Um, ultimately, we want a free one. That's that's really yeah. what we're going yeah. for is a free one. Yeah, because I mean, so. it's not that. I mean, for people that do this, I'm sure it is a big deal. But for me, it's I'm very it's a, it's a huge deal. Going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I know it go. is for people. So this is close enough. Type hmm. slab bold. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I've used this one a million times. Uh, and let's okay. see if I can even just type in. Yeah, I'll just type it in for now. So unfiltered rise. You can put do you, podcast. Do you ever do you podcast or it's just unfiltered rise? Yeah, it can be podcast. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. That will help people know play around. anyway. Yeah. So let's say that we start, and I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger, so I've got a little bit more to work with here. I'm just gonna do rise podcast on the bottom for now. We'll grab that okay. one. And then the enchanted font was, uh, I'm just going to search for it again. And then we'll say this one is unfiltered. Purge. Okay. Then we can put the Moroni at the top. <laughs> <laughs> like it's supposed to be they're taking them all down but be hilarious okay. if we could put all the symbols in there oh my gosh it'd be so funny that they're taking off <laughs> but whatever okay so i'm um, just just yes, very loosely just, yeah get rid of the cabbage down. and just go with yeah let's get this guy down okay so i mean i'm i'm, th I'm thinking that we'll have unfiltered here sort of in the front like it would be you know the Disney logo, and then mm -hmm. this one down here, like it would say pictures. Maybe mm -hmm. I'm not sure, or we can yeah. we can switch this around. But I kind of like this right. as a starting point. So yeah. let's hide those for now, and then I just love the idea of yeah, just essentially this, but the, temple. the Mormon temple. Yeah. So now let's find one of those images of the Mormon temple. It's that, very similar. It's very castle like. Uh, this is probably the closest to the yeah. perspective that mm -hmm. we need. So let's we'll just throw this Hilarious. in here and I'm just going to roughly get it around the site. Yeah, I th dude, this is going to, this is going to be <laughs> it. I like this. <laughs> it's so funny. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's great. Oh and then my gosh. this one's got a lot going on. So I don't know how well this will yeah. work, but in Photoshop, we've got, um, you can go to select subject and 80% of the time it works every time. Um, okay. Oh, not bad. This isn't bad. So it did oh, a little cool. bit of an outline and the one thing is it's a little bit skinnier that's totally fine i don't even think that's yeah, an that's issue fine. no so that'll be centered and the only thing we really need is to make a silhouette of it so the next thing i'm gonna do again we're, we're playing uh kind of like fast Hopefully. and dirty here and that's I'm all right i'm, I'm very blue. decisive like i probably won't change it i'm very like i said so, and maybe red maybe a uh, red on instead of the blue I'm going to I'm going to make it some the way that I usually work is I will make or it red match in the almost yeah. identical and then start playing with all the colors and ah, everything. Ah, gotcha. Okay. Um, That's okay, cool. so so first we've got the silhouette which I'm already really happy with and then mm -hmm. the only thing it needs are like these little chunks that are kind of missing. So I'm just going uh -huh. to make a quick selection of of these like little rows and I think that there's there's a row selection tool uh i'm not gonna play with it right now but actually yeah there's a there's a way that you can make it um set to a certain height i just don't use it enough so i'm just gonna oh, again quick fine. and dirty doesn't I'm have to be perfect like it's fine so that one and i'm holding shift down to double selections here and if we did this in illustrator uh there's a tool to do it in that one too but Again, I'm, I'm I bet you were worried it. knowing you're doing this with a girl and they're usually indecisive and a pain. And I'm like, nope, this and this and this. That's all. <laughs> well, see, the, the the best part is that I've just got like a basically like a 60 minute oh hard gosh. cap anyways. So even if you are yeah. indecisive, uh, you get what you get after. You get minutes. whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, we're going to be done because I'm already really happy. So <laughs> I'm just like that in general. I'm very like, Meh, this is how it is. And my husband and me, when we go to eat, he's like looking at the menu forever and they're just looking at me. I'm like, I don't know. I'm done. Like, I know what I want. 
two minutes in, I'm like, nope, it is the medium rare steak. Do not burn it. <laughs> <laughs> you send it back if it come if it comes. Yeah. Uh, no, like because well I was a waitress and I get nervous about them spitting in my food. So no one I'm would like, ever do that. Mm, up. <laughs> <laughs> best, best be careful you send it back more than once they sure will they sure will i've seen too many uh chefs that are like i ain't playing with you today but it depends on the person but and how bad a day they've had <laughs> but yeah okay. no so uh <clears throat> so now we've got basically there's the lines from the disney castle we've applied mm -hmm. it to a silhouette of let me get rid of some of this the temple. Um, uh -huh. And let me give a black background. Just so we've got something to compare oh, to. Funny. Now and then if also we, do, we can if we do a door, it's a square door on the temple. It's a big giant Nephilim door, is what it is. <laughs> a double door with giantness. I don't even know. That thing like goes this. three I stories. If the, if the lines down. can shift a little bit, like there we go. I love it. That's so okay. funny. And then okay. a little gold Moroni on the top because <laughs> everyone will know. And they're getting rid of it anyway. So whatever. I'll and then you said it. it's got a square door. Oh, big, huge. Like if you go down, see. Oh, nope, it doesn't. Oh, two little. They are squares, but there's a round window on the top. So. So fuck me, I guess. <laughs> well, I think uh, this. So I think they are squares, but <clears throat> it's a window over the top. <clears throat> I mean, I, I, this is like, I know I've seen this before on like postcards or whatever and just yeah, like yeah. YouTube presentations, but the thing that's standing out to me is that all these, all these windows with all these yeah, shapes. Yeah. Yeah. That's very what, iconic. Uh huh. I kind of want to see what it might look like with all of those. And you, I don't you know what put, they represent, represent like, right? Look at there's circles and phalluses. <laughs> I, re I mean, let's let, let me just do a few of these because I think that this might make it pop even more. Awesome. Uh, You're so cold. You windows. didn't even laugh. <laughs> you know what it's representing, Thomas. <laughs> I mean, but that's just every structure yeah, on no, the planet, I'm just right? Playing. I'm just playing. It's funny, though. All right, I'm not. All I'm right. not. Just let's just pretend that I do every window. <laughs> I don't know. I think even if I did them all, I'd probably like dial it back again anyways. Yeah, I think less. it would get busy. Yeah, for sure. I think it, a minimum of three is probably good. You know what I'm saying? Three Let's or four. See. We got. All right. Those are good enough. And then uh, it's it's not the easiest here. I'll do. Oops. So another quick little thing in Photoshop. If Maybe. you hit Q, it'll enter this quick mask mode. So oh, in okay. quick mask, what I'll do again, we're doing like this really rough and dirty, but I'll um, mm -hmm. I'll do an inverse of this. I'll just add. I'll do the the tops of the windows with this like brush here, and then for these ones, I'll just make a little bit smaller. Bam, bam. The bottom floor is a little bit bigger than the top floors. It's interesting. Okay. It let's also just, goes just down do three more levels um, underneath the ground, which John Levi shows on YouTube. So, <laughs> is that where <laughs> the they temples are? It. Uh, may you know it might be just dirty mattresses, just more dirty <laughs> mattresses. <laughs> I'm like, mm. some people don't think that's funny, and I'm just like, how can you not think that's funny? I think it's the funniest, weirdest, strangest. But then I grew up in a weird, strange place so whatever i mean i know what a piss closet is so that doesn't that doesn't <laughs> scare me yeah it i just don't have a piss closet i just know what one yeah. is i just want to be clear about that right exactly but it's still funny i mean people are so serious anymore i'm like man nobody gets to laugh whatever everyone's offended at everything so you may as well laugh I mean, how do you not laugh at them all fighting the police and like coming out of the wall like ants? It was hilarious. I'm that's just me. Honestly, I'm I've got conflicted <laughs> feelings because I'm all about underground tunnels and hiding from the police <laughs> and stashing guns <laughs> in underground tunnels. Like I I mean, I'm okay all... about that, but dirty mattresses, like what are you doing yeah, down there, you yeah, weirdo? I think maybe we 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 draw the line at dirty mattresses. Yeah, yeah. I think I think if you're gonna do that, just build a freaking vault like the temple has i mean <clears throat> yeah like other people have <laughs> so here here it is with some of the windows yeah. 
Um, I actually think this works. Yeah, I think, it I works think so. Well. I think if we did too many, it would be really busy. You know, and I think, uh, and we can get. It's really easy to get rid of some of the windows we do have. I'm just wondering if there's a a certain configuration for these lines to make it look oh, particularly good. I'm thinking oh, maybe bigger. Hmm. Yeah, like that. You mean the lines think... themselves. Yeah, you did it a little bigger and it looked better. I think right there. Oh, right oh. there. Right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah. do it right there. At the top, it looks. Like perfect. See what I mean? They really are split like that. They're like kind of towers. Okay. So we've got, and yeah. is that, that's Moroni up there. Right? <laughs> you're laughing. So... Anytime you're laughing, I'm like, it's good. It's so good. And he's gold. We have to make him gold. We'll get, we'll get a better version of him too. But yeah, okay. He's let's so let's funny. make him gold too. <clears throat> uh, let's this see. is great. And I'll be so thrilled because like I'll actually, because I'm not picky and weird, I get to have one done <laughs> and I need it desperately. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh, mine is great, but not like I did my best people. I am not, I am not an anything designer. I can do clothes. That's it. I'm going to feta this just a little kids bit. Clothes. I'm a kid's clothes designer because I dress my children. That's what's up. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Yes. Love that. Right, and we can this. make it white and then have the red in the background. Because of course the temple is white and delightsome. You know about the white. Well, you and you said the um let's let's find a shot of the mountains too, because you said the yes, I love like, I uh... do love the mountains, even if they're like etched in like the ones behind me. I use them all the time. So let's see. Even I if they're like, like is this are these the right mountains? I wouldn't even know. <laughs> yeah, yep, that's where I live. Where are you at? Uh, I'm Irish. actually in Disney. I'm at Disney World. I'm in Orlando. Ah, you're at <laughs> Disney World. <laughs> Did you go check out the aliens? <laughs> uh, are you talking about the Miami Mall aliens? Yeah, of course. That's way. That's too far to drive for. Oh, for you're too far away. Okay. I wait for them to come around Ooh, to the Orlando showings, so and I'll, I might get a ticket yeah, if it's not too late. For sure. Yeah. No, they'll be there. I'm sure it'll happen. That's hilarious. So I'm, okay, I'm just thinking that. Uh, like maybe a sketch of them in the back. Right. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not imagining that we yeah. use this actual photo. I'm thinking. No, no, no. Like you're if, if doing ratios. Like a, um, I get a it. A single line maybe that represented <laughs> these mountains. And these yeah. peaks over here on the left seem the most iconic. So I don't want to necessarily hide them behind right. that. So probably, probably something like that. Yeah. I'm just that looks good. With some scale. Yeah. No, I, I, I got you. I think I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Yeah. With the peaks. Yep. That looks good. So, I and get then, it. Um, we'll do a quick and dirty version of this one too. Yeah. I'll use. So if, if anyone's just started, the number one thing that you can do is train yourself into how to use the pen tool. And I, I can't even find right. it. Here we go. Here, here's pen tool. And um, when I was going through school for this, the best thing that I came across is I, our teacher gave us these incredibly complex like circular mazes and and like oh. uh, old calligraphy like black red or handwritten stuff oh. and you'd have to trace them with this pen tool very intricately and after oh you do gosh. that for three or four days you'll just, like something will snap you got it or... so yeah so it'll just kind of your like stuff click. is amazing amazing i'm sure like i said quick and dirty explains me so that's fine but um <laughs> but I know that this stuff takes you a really long time when you're doing like specific things, like for your, you know, when you're so, doing production of a comic book. Well, for the show. for the mountains, I'll I'll do it a little bit <laughs> quick and dirty, but I'm still definitely going to use this pen tool, uh, just that's so cool. I can get something that's like very accurate towards the actual right. shape of these guys. Okay, that's cool. Uh, and and the yeah, reason I'm not just here. doing like you a come go skiing or snowboarding. I can't. Can you see. actually snowboard on these mountains? Um, there we are actually on our license plates. It, Utah is the greatest snow on earth. Yeah, there's multiple um, ski resorts everywhere. I do not know how to ski. Like I've tried. I've tried. I took out the ski instructor. He landed on top of me like we were mating. It was bad. <laughs> I went through the little orange fence. Like it, it. Every time I've gone and I've tried again, even though that was horrific, and all that the people that went with me, my best friend and my ex husband, were so hysterically laughing because the dude wouldn't get off of me, and I'm like, get off of me and he's like that was the best wipe out of my life dude and I was like, oh my gosh get off of me 
Was, and he's was just this laughing. skiing or snowboarding? Yeah, that was skiing. I have never snowboarded and now I have a bad back and I'm getting old. So I'm like, yeah, probably not going to happen. But my whole family. Did you, did you pizza me. instead of French fry? Isn't that how it goes? Well, I did it. I did it. And I don't stop. Like, it's just it's they lie. <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't stop. It, it's it's not a thing for me. I, I very much did not stop. And it, I thought I was going to die. But that's OK. I made it. It's fine. Just a little more trauma to add to my MK Ultra. It's fine. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's not yeah. real trauma. Everything is funny to me because I had real trauma. So now it's like everything is funny. How dare Unless you make gonna... a joke out of I any know. trauma? I'm sorry. I know. We don't do that here. Everything do for me has show. to be real serious. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, come on. It's not that bad. I mean, nobody beat you or anything. But you know what? It kind of made me an asshole when I was younger. And my younger kids or my younger kids have a better mom. Because I went through and learned some things with like classes for anger management. Because when you're beaten, you only learn one emotion. Well, two, happy and pissed off. There's no crying in baseball. Like there was none of that at my house. Like you you could be mad. Mad was okay. But if you were sad, they were going to give you something to cry about. So, you know, it made me very insensitive. And I realized that now. <laughs> And now I'm better. I do better. I have very sensitive girls. And I don't know why God would do that. It's like a joke on me. So basically like, it was like, sense. like, stop bumming me out. Go, go punch something yeah. or I'll punch like, you. Oh, my, my youngest, she does. Um, so she does Taekwondo and Muay Thai and she does um, one more and it's got a big long name. I can't remember right now, but it's not jujitsu because we're going to put her in that. But she's just like me. She will punch something or someone. And I'm like, oh, finally someone that gets it <laughs> she's very much my style yeah she's hilarious and i'm, I'm like uh, oh the, the last one god gave me the last one god threw me a bone because he was like okay these sensitive kids you, you need a break, i love you need my sensitive now. kids right but like i i don't understand them i have to always say like i'm sorry you're sad i don't understand that because i'm like Oh, you're sad. Here's a sandwich. Do you need something? Here's a coffee. Here's this. Okay. That's the worst thing to do to someone when they're like upset. You don't throw things at them. But it's Dude, bad I, idea. It helps to just like leave them alone. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I uh, learned that. I learned <laughs> it, a little pat. You can do like a silent, like I'm here for you thing. Cause my middle daughter, she's very sensitive and I had to learn this. And then <laughs> she had surgery and she had a panic attack and she said, mom, you did so good. And I was like, wow, thank you. Like I've grown great. Cause she's like, you just, you were there for me, but you didn't make it weird. And I was like, perfect. I finally learned and I'm almost 50. Awesome. <laughs> time for another one. You can start. Uh, all over and get it no, right no, time. no, no. This shop is closed. I'm a grandma now. No way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I, we've got our second grandbaby due actually in April. So going to have a boy. So I'm like, yay. My first daughter doesn't talk to me because I was an insensitive dick, but no, I try to make it right, but she doesn't care. So. <laughs> if they really uh, wanted to hurt you, could they just like convert to Mormonism? Would that be like the old? Oh my gosh, that'd be devastating. Yeah. But her husband is actually the reason me and my daughter were always super close, but, um, and he's interesting and he's the reason I have to repent often. Because I'm like, I'm so, I didn't mean to think or say that. Okay, I'll try harder tomorrow. But he did take my kid. So, and I've never seen my grandchild. <laughs> so there's well, that. If any of your other kids are watching this in the future, if you really want to get back at Heidi, convert to Mormonism, yeah. <laughs> start wearing the pants. Polyg oh, like the full, I, I assume the, polygamy. The undies. Like, you gotta, yeah, yeah the undies. The full, what the fundy if undies. Found, if you they, found magical underpants in your kids' laundry, would you be like, "What is this?" I would this? be so sad. I would be so <laughs> sad. I've taught them all. They they are all actually saved, and we are the only family in all of my posterity because we are Mormon settlers, and they are all Mormon that are completely out. Like from my mom to my children, we are all out, which I am very proud of. I have to say, and that started with my mom, not me. So, yeah. But you would you would yell, you'd be like, I taught you better than this. Get these out of I here mean, or what? I would be more sad than when I found out my daughter was gay. So <laughs> I'm like, 
the gay thing i was like okay and so a girl okay fine like and my son and my husband both said the same thing and i'm going to put a little disclaimer on this if you get easily offended don't listen to me right now um <clears throat> but both my gonna, son and my bleep in the hell out of everything that you're saying yeah one probably long bleep. true it might be true my husband and my son both said at least she's a girl because that's so much better <laughs> <laughs> And then my husband was like talking about some commercial about the headache medicine and they have two guys on it. And he's like, that's so weird. And I said, your daughter is gay. And he goes, she's a girl, way different. <laughs> I was like, okay, whatever. Oh, geez. But yeah, he's come a long way. Proud. Actually, he doesn't care at all about the girl thing. He thinks that's fine. I apologize like, to my audience for this, this, this disgusting sorry my rant content oh that my we're gosh. currently we're talking about all of a sudden yeah yeah but we we love the gays we love them all it's fine <laughs> so, it, so let's just say that um <clears throat> um we've got a, a general awesome. silhouette worked out but you were saying that we want a different color so i've, I've got it matching the parody disney for educational purposes yes, only. Perfect. It's totally not yes. violating copyright but what colors no. did you want now that we've got it kind of looking like so, a regular logo would look Red in the background and the temple has to be white because it's white and delightsome. Okay, it's let's always see. white. I'm gonna <laughs> I could just do a fill, but I'm just gonna do um a color overlay here so we can move the color around. You can kind of see it in real time. So okay. cause there's a bunch of different reds that we can pick from. So we've got like a little eye catching, but not like I my red is kind of a true red, but I don't want it to be like, yeah, like probably that. Eye catching but not startling. Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is a little more pastel ish. Here we go. Yep. I'm just a true, it's just a true red. Yep. So, and uh, for, for any color snobs out there, we're looking at an additive red right now. So that's where I don't know if you can see. Um, there's like a little exclamation mark over this on the top so whenever you see oh, the one okay. on the top it usually means that this is not a printable color like if you wanted to put this on a oh. shirt or a poster or anything like this this color doesn't actually exist in the okay. space of printed colors this color only exists because there's light coming from behind a screen that's like like lightening it up and that's known as additive color and subtractive oh. color is basically when you print something on a piece of paper um, and this is it like the color mixes differently, but now the light's not coming from behind it. The light's coming and bouncing off of it. So anyways, okay. if you ever see that little exclamation mark, you just click <laughs> on it. It'll bring you to the closest red that you could print. <laughs> but now you see there's another little box that uh, it looks like a little cube here. And that's letting you know that this isn't like a web safe color. So not every browser can necessarily <laughs> be represented by that. So now if you click on well, that one and yeah. you can see how it just kind of like alternates between the two. So um it depends if you really care i'll usually just try and find a color that that can be represented by both uh, without sure. it freaking out yeah but i'll usually lean towards like see, see now we're at a color that it's fine in both color spaces so okay i'll stick with this Great. one for now we can always tweak it yeah so there's there's a red and then the temple you said to be white white just like pure always white. white yep and then we could do the little line circle black maybe to set it off and then I'm going to set the, um, I got this little like half, I don't actually, I don't even know if we need the little half moon uh, thing behind here, which is this guy, because we're going to mm -hmm. have the mountains, oh, mountains. and yeah. I don't know what to do with the mountains yet, but I'm thinking that we might do like a gradient on these two. So I'll do a, okay. uh, I'll do a gradient overlay and we'll set one of the colors in the gradient, which is over here. Um, I'll make one of them the red that we started with, and then I'll make the other one also a red, but I'll make it like a little bit darker, like okay. down here. Okay. It's looking good. I, I like it. And then crank this up. Ah. And what I'm I'm looking for is just a. Uh, just a, just enough variation so that you can tell that the mountains there but not so much that right. it's like super obvious uh -huh. so this will start and then i can like move it around a little bit so here okay. you don't see it at all 
right? And then as I uh -huh. move down, you'll start to see it kind of like come in. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, kind of like yeah. that one. And if I yeah. make the scale smaller, I, we can make that that uh, gradation like a little bit sharper. Okay. So let's just do it for here for now. Yeah, I like it. Kind of like that. And then I think that the little that little half moon would work. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just make it, make, um, make it, I'll make it white. I think. I mean, we can try black too. I don't think black would look. Yeah. No, I don't think black's gonna no? look as good. Okay. I think the white works. Um, what about gold? What about gold to match? Ooh, for okay. Night? Yep. Yep. Yeah. I think gold will work. Gold will be bomb. That's hilarious. Yeah, I like that. Yep. Yep. That sets off the Maroni. Also, a lot of people um, call it Maroni. Disney's is a little bit asymmetrical, so that it matches up with the font itself. So that's probably the next step is to just add that font. Uh, I could have okay. sworn I downloaded it. I can't find where the hell it downloaded to. Let me just add it really quick. This is great. I love it. Uh, okay. So yeah, here's the font here. So I'll just install it. And it's called Enchanted Land. So now, um, again, using this as the reference, so they actually have the font as the same color as the little arc a little bit. I guess the, the arc's actually the same like light blue, but I think ours maybe will make it gold and see what it looks yeah, like. Yeah, gold is so funny. So can you do black we'll, and gold if it doesn't work? Like to make it like like pop out or whatever or might well, yeah. Know. So so we'll have like once we've got the, the composition done and ever this laid out. We can make like five or six copies and have them all be different, like uh, color schemes, oh, gotcha. and start exploring it that way too. So, okay. So, I've well, got I only got nine here. minutes unless you're giving me extra time. <laughs> uh, I mean, you know, we 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 can keep going here. So here's the enchanted <laughs> land. I uh, love it. I, though. I don't know if unfiltered rise together. We have to be. do the eye like Disney with the scribble eye because that's hilarious. So right. I've got a, a much better font for that one. We can play around with that. So Just let's... on the on the eye. And oh, I think hilarious. that I think we get rid of this bottom part of Art. the building. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I don't know how much I want to get rid of, but I know I want. I know it's it's extending too far down. Uh huh. Onto the lettering. Yeah. No, I see that. I'm just Love going. It. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna do a, another quick and dirty mask here. Quick and, and dirty. Kind of like paint over some of it <laughs> for now. That's okay. Whoop, um, gone. Actually, if I if I do like a square brush, I don't know if I've got one set up here. This All right, I don't so have my funny. brushes set up, but let's just say it was like that. I, I mean, this will this will be easier to work <laughs> with at so least. Funny. Okay. Perfect. Oh my gosh. And, it's so good. Uh, okay, so that's one font, but I've got, yeah. I've got some other to pick from. So we've got. And then we're gonna put podcast at the bottom or whatever. Oh my gosh, one. that's so we've funny! Got... Oh my gosh. Oh, now I'm now I'm torn. I was so sure. Okay, well, can we just scribble the I in with a pen and leave it on the enchanted? Like yeah, scribble. I mean, absolutely. It'll probably look weird, but let's let's oh, let me show okay. you exactly what it looks like. Otherwise, so we'll, we'll, I think I like the one that looks like like Dis like Disney would interpret theirs, but not Disney. So the, <laughs> the top one, the enchanted. I like the second one the best. If we can't make it work with the weird eye, yeah, I think it. Looks well, let's better. see what it looks <laughs> like with with the eye. So I'm just going to uh, grab this little squiggly dot for their eye right just make a quick copy of it hilarious so good and then it'll probably have to get rid of the one that we've got so that's this one and again i, I always i go maybe overkill but i do what you call non-destructive editing so instead of deleting or rendering stuff i just constantly add masks to things and then paint over okay. it so at any point, if I was like, "Man, I wish I didn't delete that," I can oh. just disable the mask, and it's and it's there again. So, oh, that's cool. That's um, smart. So, okay, so we got that, and then here's the little eye that we took, and it's a little bit too big for that. So maybe we just shrink it down to maybe that. Yeah, that's not horrible. I, I actually like that. 
Yeah, because it horrible? still makes it look it makes it still look nicer than the the full scribbly one. You know what I'm saying? So and this one over here, there's another eye over here, but that one's getting combined I, it's with the so F. close. Yeah, that's so close to the thing. I don't think that would be a good idea, you know. So this isn't that's bad great. so far. I, I kind of like, like this. Yeah, I like it. I I um, like it bigger, yeah. Like that. I wish it was a little right bigger. There. Let's so <laughs> and then uh i kind of want i don't know if i want it to overlap or not the disney one I yeah know no does i think it overlap. looks yeah i like it just not not overlap i guess it, the disney one does a little bit but they also have a yeah like the they gold have other... on the white is a little yeah. harder yeah i think that looks better not and then also i'll uh i, I won't nitpick right this part this is another thing that i could spend like a day on but just seeing <laughs> yeah. like for example where the windows line up right i might want to oh, try right. and get the windows to like see how this d like fits right into that oh. little slot there oh okay and the l fits yeah. into this slot here on the left oh. um like it just yeah, kind of like crazy. works out a little bit right uh-huh so i might leave it a little offset like that or yeah i might intentionally see how that looks and then do like an offset like this Stick it in. and now the r is centered in this one just because I, I think like little little bits Aesthetic. like that. Yeah, yeah. Just, I don't know. And I, I, I like honestly, this is the thing. Like, yeah. I might nitpick over that for like two hours. Like, do I like it there? Oh my do gosh. I like do I like it there? Do I like it there? You know what I mean? <laughs> oh no. Yeah, so, I think then, I like it like that. <clears throat> and then finally, um, for this unfiltered rise part, maybe I'll just do. Uh, I'll usually throw like a stroke and a drop shadow just right make it stand it out. out a little bit and sometimes a little bit less is more so like for right. example i'll take the yellow that we were on and i'll just make like a slightly darker version of it and i'll set that on the outside and i'll do it just enough to like where you can't really see it i'll make it a little darker okay. still actually there we go that's better and then i'll add a drop shadow and uh again less is more in my opinion okay. i i really like that actually I like and now it. i might yeah. even take i might take that drop shadow copy it um and then i maybe i want to see what it looks like applied to everything aside from the mountains so mm -hmm. i'm gonna group let me find where the mountains are at do we want to put podcast on the bottom or no uh maybe i Okay. Because because I think the podcast would be an extra thing that you may or may not want on it in case you know you ever start doing movies or your right. when your album comes out or. Um, <laughs> so the pod... I don't think none of that. <laughs> well, and, I, I don't know about any of that. <laughs> and and they use that slab font for the pictures, so that's what I would do is I would just put podcast at the bottom in that slab font. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the different. And then okay, let's see. So we've got. Part of the background there's their part so everything else on top of this here i'm going to group everything and then i'm going to apply that same layer style minus the stroke and then now you can see that i'll make it i, I can make it more emphasized but now we've got the whole thing wow. can have like a, a background and then if you want to make it a little bit blurry Again, I'm not a I'm not a big fan of like when you start getting it all masked like that. Like I really right. like 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 very sharp uh, drop shadows. Yeah, yeah, and, to uh, make it stand out. Mm -hmm. There we go. I kind of like, like that. It. I don't. I love another it. thing I could obsess about is like, well, maybe the tower should be have a drop shadow on top of the ring, and then like have like layered drop shadows. Um, right. And actually, I don't even know if I like the drop shadow in the castle now. Maybe I just like it on the font. Uh, That's another thing that you could obsess over for. Yeah. Do you have I, I don't know. I kind of like it. It sets it off. Yeah, I think it sets it yeah. off kind of. All right. Well, it. let's let's say that we've got a good. Uh, so funny. At least a starting point here. Yeah. For an unfiltered rise. And uh, the cool thing, too, is that like all these elements are. Oops. Let me let me lock this mask back to the building here so that was a, another part of having these uh this non-destructive editing is like at any point i can decide to like move this building around without changing where the windows are at and vice versa oh, but okay. now i want to lock it all together so okay so yeah. now if i go to this group 
we've got the logo that's separate from the background. You can make it bigger. You can make it smaller. We can change oh, wow. the font because we never rasterized it. So if you did want to now see, oh, I wonder what it would have looked like using, you know, the, the first one that you started with or a completely different mm -hmm. font, it makes it really easy to do that. But, huh, that's wild. I love it. Are there any other little finish, like final touches that this could use? Uh, let's put the podcast underneath just for fun. Cause I don't know that I'm going to do any of the other stuff. <laughs> and what was that again? <laughs> Typo slab bold. Uh, I kind of like the one under it, let, the Choplin. Oh. Okay. We'll do the Choplin. I think it will make it like solidify how it looks, you know, like the, not that we're copying anyone. We're not. Oh my God. Just let me download it. Like the, the 900 links. You're like, ah, that's too much. Yeah, that uh, would drive me crazy. <clears throat> and this one is a demo, so we're definitely just using this for educational purposes. Yes. In fact, you guys don't know this, but but we've pre-recorded this, and I already know that by now, Heidi already went and secured a license for this font, so it's totally legit I now. Did. Yep. Because uh, we, the we chatted about appreciate this. It. Yes. <laughs> And then I think theirs is all uppercase. I think that font might even be all uppercase, but I'm just going to do a podcast. All uppercase letters. I'm going to take it out of this group so it doesn't get the drop shadow. So it okay. stands uh, part two. We'll make it about roughly this size. Uh, we'll change the font to white, I think, to make it yeah. stand out yeah, again. Yeah, I'm going to tie it in. Mm -hmm. We could also, another thing too, is maybe like play with this red. That might not be bright enough. So we'll do that. And then finally, we just got to change the font to be, I think it was called slab something or other. So I'll just type in slab. Oh, no, it was called uh, chop choplin. There we go. There we go. Uh, and I also noticed that that font had like a light version and a medium version. I think the light one might even work too. So let me add the light. Okay. Joplin. The only other thing I would say is maybe make Moroni bigger so he stands out because it's hilarious. Do you have a preference on size here? Uh, maybe a little smaller. Like when you zoomed it down to be centered with it. There you go. So I, I would I would obsess over like the fine placement of the font for hours. So you're we'll like, just, hold on a minute. Yeah, we'll, I bet we'll it's hard for you to this not is do perfect. that. <laughs> uh, and uh, I'm gonna group all this together yet again, so that now I can move it all. And then, like for example, we might want. Oops. We might want to make this thing like mm, real yeah. big, centered. Oh, that's cool. I love that. I think it's really funny. I think it looks great, actually. I and love then, it. Yeah. I love it, but I love it that it's like funny because we know why. But <laughs> somebody else maybe wouldn't, right? And then where's where's so we got to find Moroni? What is this? Would this really be offensive? What what part of this would be offensive? No, is I mean, when they hear my podcast, they might be offended. <laughs> Because I'm an exmo. If I was a Mormon, Mormon, then they might be like, "Oh, that's wonderful and great." But yeah, get over perfect. it, Mormons. I know. Sorry, Mormons, didn't work for me, and I'm not mad. Except I am a little bit. How would you, you feel if you, if you found out that I'm slowly converting to Mormonism now? You because know, of, it's because okay. of how cool you've made it sound. Yes. Well, you did tell me that I was selling you on it. You said that, so. But I, I'm I feel you. I'm more open to it at this moment than I've ever been in my life. No, 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 definitely not. That's cool. I think that if you're okay praying to Abraxas instead of God, it, it, it's fine. <laughs> put Abraxas on the top of this temple? Oh my gosh, that'd be so funny. Oh, no, 
Oh, there geez. we go. I mean, I kind of like, like this. There's, so there's really like little things it. that I would obsess over. I'm just going to fix one of those now. And that's this little sliver of white. Like, oh, okay. That's going to, I'm never going to not see that now that I see it now. So I'm never going to not see that. So I'm just going to go ahead and fix that. There, there we go. Gone. Gone, gone. I really like it. Now that I'm already doing that, maybe I'll fix some of this other stuff that I don't like. Oh, this is this is bugging me too. Okay, I don't want to. I don't want to get too into the weeds here. I'll, I'll leave some of these alone, uh, especially yeah. since like no one's ever gonna see it that close. They're gonna see it like that. True. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's <laughs> um, so and funny. then also we started. The, I'm in Photoshop now. We started this in Illustrator. So what I would probably do at some point um, is I will take the background out. So we've just got this, and I could mm -hmm. plug this and get rid of Disney. Um, into Illustrator, and then, and I might even take the font out and stuff. But real quick and dirty in here, they've got another option called uh, out. Uh, what the hell is it called? Uh, trace stroke. Man, my my brain is is floundering. But there's a way to um, to outline the image trace. Duh. Oh, and then okay. an image trace, I can go in here and pick. Um, we'll say that this is like a logo art, say black and white logo. Uh, and then, or actually we'll do like three color, six color. There we go. And then after it does this, come on. Um, it'll struggle a little bit just because we've got some of that drop shadow and stuff. Oh, but right. after it's done all of this and actually I do, I, I need a background color just so it doesn't put it on a white on white. Here we go. Oh, wow. That let's try this again okay so i'll go into my what was it called again image trace <laughs> and uh yeah, in the image on. trace <laughs> i'll then uh so it's one two yeah there's three colors in there so i'll pick the mm -hmm. three color image trace it'll do a little thing and this is like og ai before ai existed i <laughs> i can always consider this image trace to be like next level and then um, once it's it's done this, it doesn't look like anything's happened, but we can do an outline of this um, where I'll, like, I'll expand it. There we go, expand. And now we've got super sharp images. It'll be, it's hard for you to see from this zoomed out, but if I zoom all the way in. Oh, okay. See how sharp it's that like is? Like, look at that. Uh -huh. Like yeah. you, could, you could cut yourself on that thing, right? But if we did that in <laughs> Photoshop, but then um, I'd bleed and you'd be not okay. <laughs> see, and, <laughs> and there's the difference. So, so here's the raster because now you can see these little squares. These are the actual individual pixels in the oh, image. Wow. That means that if you ever wanted to like put this on a billboard or something, it's not going to look great. Uh, and like Adonai is going to be unrecognizable. Poor Adonai, oh, right? Gotcha. He just looks like a blob of, oh, boy. of goo, right? Um, but yeah. if you were to like, if we did the same thing in Illustrator Adonai, we find him. I mean, he's not going to look perfect because we didn't trace him all the way down. Right, but right. At the very least, he doesn't turn into just like blocks. Like he's a still block. got a shape to yeah. him. So mm -hmm. if we were to obsess more, I'd probably just like trace the exact outline of Adonai, get the horn, get all get that. All so of it. This looks really good. That's and then so I funny. might consider it close to being done. But this is an awesome start. I like I it. Think I think it's great. It great. I think it's amazing. I I definitely think it's 900 times better than what I have right now. Oh yeah, that's kind of cool to add another color in the back. I don't know. But so is I don't know is there why. anything that we're leaving on the table here? If if I just gave this to you and like this is your new logo, I would be happy. Yeah, I like it a lot. All right, well there you go. There's your new, there's your new logo. Thank you, and, thank you. And, uh, we did it. Hey, we're only eight minutes, minutes over. Yeah. yeah, we were. Close. That wasn't bad, right? I I like no. this. I like it a lot. And I think especially for me, because I'm very decisive, it makes it easy because I'm like, yep, yep, that. Nope. You know, that's just who I am. So I think right, it's well, perfect. This was it's educational exact. purpose. Disney, sue Heidi. Yes. Don't sue me. Yeah. Don't sue me either. Because she's the one that's going to put stuff. it on mugs and sell it. And yeah, it's the temple. Your branding. You don't have that. Yeah. <laughs> they don't own the temple. I might get, you know, in trouble from someone else but i don't think they'd be bothered with me like why all right still well, on their I'll, roster. I'll send you a, a i'm still technically a mormon 
I'll send you a copy of this, uh, of the Photoshop file and everything. But yeah, if you ever awesome. need edits or anything, we can play with it. And then okay. maybe in the future, we can take this one and make like a video out of it. Cause I would, cause now to do for a video, I would make, uh, I'd hide the background. And now you've got this as a watermark you can throw in the bottom oh. corner. Um, we could even do cool stuff where we project this image in like 3D and have it like, rotating or spinning or something like one of those like little lower thirds on like a news channel there's all kinds of cool stuff you can do with stuff. it now that you've got the logo to play with i do like the black in the back what you just did i don't know what you just did there but uh let's see what did i do do you like that or is that too gothic -y? uh i think well let's let's play is it let's better say, just uh, the red i don't like it pure black but i do think that if we made it a darker gold or a darker red oh it yeah it look cool um, so I'd, I'd start with, let's see, we'll start with red. I didn't know what was happening there, but it just flashed really fast. And I was like, oh, that's cool too. So, okay. Maybe oh, not, yeah. maybe not the red just because it, I don't know if it would work so much red. Yeah. Uh, let's try the gold. And then if, if the gold doesn't necessarily work, uh, I'm uh, not, I'm not a fan of like the, the baby yeah. vomit mustard color, not mustard. Yeah. Uh, maybe we just explore a couple other. Yeah. Um, and actually, it might even. But be I cool love it the way it was. Yeah. If we find a, um, uh, we'll do like salt. Let's see, Salt Lake City Mountain Sunset. Oh. Let's see if there's yeah. any like cool sunset colors. Oh, we get some cool sunsets here. Do you have like a favorite? Color? Like what? Are there any, any of these ones up here? I like. Stand out? Uh, yeah, the one with. Um, you're almost on it with the clouds and let's see. Yep. That's with our chemtrail. I mean, yeah, the clouds. <laughs> chemtrail clouds. I live by the base. <laughs> that's cool. Cause it has the gold in it too. See, like that's very cool. And, and yeah. I'm definitely not going to use the, the uh, image, but what I'll do is I'll place it. Yeah. And then. Um, again, we can make another gradient. So I'll do like a, uh, let's see. I think that sets it off really cool. And then it has all the things that I have, like other than my face, which is fine. They can see my face when they come see me <laughs> on my show. Not at my house. <laughs> no, don't come see me. <laughs> well, we've got Heidi's uh, address. <laughs> my address the at the right bottom. Go, go ahead and click on the it. Church, the the church might come see me. But other than that, they'll be like, here's your excommunication papers. I keep waiting and they haven't done it. And I think it's weird. I'm going to actually have to go do it for myself, which I didn't expect. I just figured what, they'd what see mean? my stuff and be like, oh, so hey. I'm not excommunicated yet. And I'm still technically on their on their roster. And you have to go through a whole act of Congress to get off it. And so I'm and what like, if you don't? Yeah, then you're stuck there forever. And I don't want to be that. So well, I just what, figured what they mean, would. Though? Isn't that just and like, what, like no one's gonna like kidnap you or like chain you no, to like a no. It's so just it... like they can count me as a number. Like I mean, aren't number. they going to anyways? Not if you have your um records taken off of the church. Which there is. You don't a believe that, you do through. you? Because they, I mean, they, they baptize dead people. So that's true. I'm probably. Do you think they're that. not going to keep you baptized just because? If you, I you died, they'd just redo it again, probably. Well, why would they yeah. even? Why would they even undo it just to redo it later? They why wouldn't they, they just do say, that? Yeah, yeah, they yeah. Do you're do unbaptized, that. whatever. Yeah. They uh, uh, excommunicate people, so then they have to do all the steps over again if you ever want to come back. My uncle was excommunicated a, a couple times. <laughs> It sounds like a scheme to just raise more money for underpants. Yeah, and... who knows? Who knows? You got to do all the things. That oh, you're I back. Love. Oh, you got to you got to buy more pants. The old ones more more tithing now. for you. It's now twelve percent, not ten. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so uh, you know, now that we we mentioned it, I kind of do like a different color as the top, but but on the other side, I'm thinking of like the eye flow. Right now, the red on top and red on bottom, I like, but I might raise the mountains up a little tiny bit just because because I guess I'm thinking is that, oops, uh, that's not yours. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, hold on a minute. Is that my jar of Mormon? Oh, wait. <laughs> because I'm thinking what? that like the, the way that the eyeline would work is that we've got unfiltered rise, 
um, baseline here. We've got the podcast baseline here. So if we were to do go symmetrical, um, we've got mm. one. I'm just going to eyeball it. But like, yeah, the bottom of podcast would equate to about there. And the bottom of unfiltered rise would probably be about there. So I might just get the mountains to either be up here or. But with the sunset, it looked. But then would we have the sunset? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think the sunset would be an one extra variation on top of okay. this, but I think having like a one really, really solid, yeah. simple one. Do you, do you have a preference on the mountains up here or the mountains? Like no, whatever, wherever the eye line is, what you were saying. Cause I know, you know, like, I don't know. I'm just a normal. I don't I do. I do kind of like, I do kind of like about like right there think like again I, like i would I mean, spend another two hours between this oh my gosh <laughs> you know no <sighs> uh, well that's why people have you i kind of like this one i kind of <laughs> like this because um this this little steeple is below the mountain line this one's above it and the moroni oh, okay. is standing wide above it so i kind of like that and he's yeah. higher than all the peaks yeah so. and then it stands out more i like that too all right. Well, there we go. We've got the Unfiltered awesome. Prize podcast yes. logo in an hour and, and 15 minutes. And it's all minutes. licensed and everything. <laughs> I'll send you a bill for the extra 15 minutes. It won't be too bad. He's like, and you're done. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I love it. I think you exactly did all the things I was thinking. So way cleaner than my messy brain. <laughs> well, I love it. I, I mean, this one's uh, was a delightful one to work on. So Awesome. I like being delightful, white and delightsome. Remember? I I mean I don't I is this a real is this a real phrase? It's a real story. You don't know this story? No. Okay. What's the story? So this is hilarious. So Brigham Young was completely not like Joseph Smith. Joseph Smith actually um, was an abolitionist, but when Brigham Young took over, he was extremely racist. And when I say extreme, he said, if you ever caught your woman with a, a black man, you should run a knife through both of them because that would be better than letting them live. And so he was serious about this. And um, he also said when they first were gathering all the native people that they should buy, yes, I said buy, buy up all the native children and have them learn the gospel so they can become more white and delightsome, which is actually in the Book of Mormon. It says that you will become more white and delightsome. So, yeah. Just, I mean, There's just been devil's multiple advocate prophets. offering to buy yeah. the children instead of just straight up taking them <laughs> does feel delightfully feel better. Mormon. Yes. Like, it's like, yes. hey, like, they're the nicest we'll bad you, guys you'll ever meet. Yes. We'll give and, you far, fair market value. Like we'll, <laughs> we'll check and see what the going rates are and offer you the I going mean, rates. Yeah. And then we'll make them white and you can have them back. And then there was one other prophet, Ezra Taft Benson in the seventies. So not that long ago that said, now that we have incorporated our native brethren, they have become exceedingly more white and delightsome. And so I'm like, no, that was them not having any other people to mate with ever again because we killed them all. And now they have to mate with white people. That's what made them white and delightsome, in my opinion. But is delightsome uh, even a word? I don't I've never even heard delightsome. This is like such a Mormon thing. And this is why the FBI, again, loves to recruit people that are Mormon because and they have like right down the road from me, an FBI center like Mega Center they usually speak more than one language because they've gone on missions. And then on top of that, they um, have this way of speaking. That's very femi almost feminine uh, for a man. It's very unobtrusive. It's not scary. If you ever go listen to conference, you know, they do conference twice a year and the prophet speaks, you'll hear it in his voice. It's like the same Mormon voice. It gives me PTSD. Like it doesn't matter which prophet it is. It's the same way they speak. It's very like nice monotone pointy shoe office man voice. <laughs> you're, you're selling me again. I don't know if you know that. Uh, no pointy shoes. You don't look like a pointy shoe guy. I'm not, but I was also raised Roman <laughs> Catholic. So the opposite was like getting very like cold, sharp stares that made you feel like you were going to hell immediately if you didn't stop what you were doing. Oh, they definitely do the staring. They definitely have the Mormon eye, but like the voice doesn't how, match. How it. scary could the how right, scary could the the Mormon eye be? <laughs> They can I want a little bit. It scares me. 
It definitely scares me. <laughs> I mean, it's one of those. See, look at their Mormon Jesus. He looks like beach babe Jesus. See in the red? He looks like a beach babe Jesus. He's got white. Oh, is, like, is this Mormon Jesus? That's Mormon Jesus. Yeah. Who's Mormon Jesus based on? I don't I know. Mean, I assume a Mormon. Like, <laughs> Well, we just joke. Um, no, I just think they made him extra white and beachy blonde hair. Like, it's because very, this, is, and, this is the regular white Jesus, yeah, right? Yeah, Caesar he's Borgia. not. Yeah, he's not dark like that Jesus. They just took it and made it very white and delightsome. They made him white and delightsome. He needs a man bun. He had a man, like little man bun. He looked like he's just going surfing, right? I mean, I don't know about you. This one creeps me <laughs> out spooky. way more. The new, the new prophet of the church is also that frightening. So, are you are you yeah. telling me that this is less scary than a Mormon <sighs> death stare? This. Okay, he is he is terrifying. That is terrifying. But we all right? know he's not the real pope, right? Like there's that whole controversy with the black pope and the white but not the color black you know what i'm talking about like the yeah, and the anti pope no i mean there's one yeah. pope and he sits in the, the silly golden chair if you're not sitting in the yes. gold chair i don't care who you say you are you're not he the definitely real looks like he had some gold juice for breakfast i think <laughs> <laughs> look at so anyways yeah this this is scarier and this is why i guess mormonism seems so approachable that this is my frame yeah. of reference like Ugh. this guy is gonna come and like spank you in the Hit middle you? of the night doing anything wrong. Yeah, no, he's he's terrifying. That and the Mormons really are just scary. like, we're not gonna let you wear your underpants for a week. And yeah, like okay. And then you know we don't do any of the other stuff too, like hanging Jesus on the cross. Like that's that's a no no. Um, so that's unoffending. You know, everything's unoffending. They're very. I feel like they're one of the most politically correct D type they try to be the mainstream tries really hard to not be offensive, but then they do. And then they just like fix it. <laughs> well, it's different in the temple. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Everything. It all makes sense there. You got to get there and get your underwear and then do all the things and talk to Abraxas. And I don't know, not really. Mormons, I think there's something really. to that though. I mean, uh, maybe this is, maybe this I think is like I a... figured that out. Yeah. But like, I don't know. Ha having the persona in public and then having one in private uh to some people it's like you know it's the epitome of fakeness and the epitome of yeah you know like secret societies and and esoteric and exoteric but also there's something like anyone that's ever had a job and had to interface in like the retail world like yeah. i don't know or is that are you being like a secret society because everyone knows that after the really? customer leaves, everyone's like, did you see that lady's hair? Like, that was the <laughs> worst haircut I've ever, you know what I mean? Like, that happens. Yeah, it's no, real. it's true. It's true. I mean, I get that part. But, like, also, I'm like, uh, I just think they should be more honest. If Mormons want to be Mormons, that's fine. But I do think that a lot of their <laughs> theology is built on lies. Like, you live on a throne of lies, you know? <laughs> and I just... I think that if you knew, like, then there would be less people like me that are traumatized 30 years later and wondered what happened. Like, why do that to people when you could just tell the truth? There's still plenty of people that pledge to plenty of things, as you well know, that might seem scary to others that aren't scary to them. You know, I think they'd still have members. Maybe it'd even go up because it'd be more secret. Right. Well, and hopefully this doesn't put a sour on our relationship with the Warren Jeff Auto Lube. Oh um, my gosh. I want to just make sure that <sighs> this is not the same Warren Jeff no. that you're thinking of, but it is a Mormon Warren Jeff, and he oh does sponsor gosh. this show. So shout That's out to hilarious. the Warren Jeff Auto Lube. And you're making you're making the um dolls, right? The all American dolls for Warren Jeffs. That's what we were talking oh, about last yeah. time. <laughs> yeah. But the, the thing is that when you go to get one, you have to buy like 30. You can't just get yeah. one. So it's, no. it'll be a little bit expensive. But... Well, you have to have a minimum of three or you can't go to heaven. Remember that. Is that true? Minimum. Yeah. Are we, are we talking wives or daughters or daughter yes, wives? Yes, wives. You can't go to heaven without three wives. And the fun. What if you have three wives, but they're all barren? Do you still go to heaven? No, you still can go. Yeah, but you really? probably that can't seems, afford. That, yeah, that doesn't seem right. Yeah, it's all about the wives. I don't know why three. 
Godhead representation. I don't know. Many of them have 12 to 30, but I mean, Brigham Young had 55, but he only had 56 kids. So he was doing a one hit wonder. <laughs> what if you wait till the last minute? Like, what if, what if you're, you're, you're it, not, like, your you're not a rights? fan of marriage? He's like, I want to be a Mormon, but I do not want to do all that. So you're like, I'm going to have all my kids on my deathbed and then they can raise them. <laughs> well, but I'm like, there could be like a, like a Mormon dating app out there. And it's oh for Mormons God. that don't want to have the three wives for, you know, a bulk of their life. But once Many you reasons. find out that you're getting yeah. close, you're just like, you just check and you get three wives. They show up, you get the quick marriage over, you get to go to done. heaven. And then what happens? Like, so if, if let's say oh, that a guy goes oh, out, he gets the three wives, he dies. Are those three wives back out onto the market again? I'm yeah, no, usually. Well, in, in the, we're talking about fundamentalist sect, they would be given to someone. Well, this is the only they, real form of Mormonism yeah. or the fundamentalists. Yeah. And so they would normally be given to your brother or your family member. Like if you all of a sudden died. Yeah. They get hand, them. hand me down wives. Hand me down wives. And hopefully they're not your sister or something, but they really do the whole family. Like if, if somebody gets kicked out, which often happens, they take the family, the kids and the wives and give them to somebody else that's high up in status. Yeah. Is is there like a like any like haggling or bargaining? It's like, hey, I'll give you three, like three of I mean, mine for two of yours. But it used to be a six cow woman was really a big deal. So might be that. I don't know. A six cow woman was that? But you had to trade six cows in order to <laughs> cows, get cows. Yeah, for the dowry. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure that they're still haggling. If you got like a virgin one versus the used widow, like I. I'm just saying. What about, and you mentioned this before on uh, the Paranoid American podcast, but like, what about the divorce no. procedures? Is this like the like a big taboo? No. There's, there's no, I mean, well, first of all, they're only married to the first one in real life. But if you really wanted a divorce, you would have to go before a council and get it approved and da, da, da. And it has to be something really bad. Obviously, adultery isn't really a part of that because they probably just marry the girl if they liked her. But um, yeah, I don't think that they really do that because the other ones are all spiritual wives. So they just get remarried again. So because I'm, I'm just no thinking like deal. if you go to the store and you're trying to return something, sometimes they give you like a big hassle. Like, where's the receipt? And prove you didn't use it and everything you're like but, i didn't i didn't use that say one. like oh i just want to exchange it for that one over there i just i don't like the green one i want the blue one sometimes i don't know that, i think you're stuck than, is there is is there anything like that where you're like i've got this wife and i don't really like her and then john's <laughs> got his wife and he doesn't like her but we both so we like, want to switch you, can you do an even yeah. trade or is that Boy, that's a good question? Divorce? I don't know that that's a real thing other than when they get kicked out. I know when they get kicked out or they die, their wives are property and given to people, whoever they so desire. But is I don't monopoly know if rules? you can like do if no trade. One wants it, then they like put yeah. it up for bid. It might be. I mean, you've got to have so many and they a lot of times will keep the guys like that are on the up and coming, but still kind of young at two wives for a long time. So I can't get to that third wife so that they have to really work hard to get there, you know, be worthy enough. And once you get more than three, like it can go from three to 12 really quick. So I want I your want I want your honest oh. response on something. I don't I don't. Yeah. I'm always I like honest. You. I don't know if I know you well enough, but I feel like you'd give an honest response. If we inverted yeah. the gender dynamic and it was like women were in charge True. and women could have as many husbands as they wanted, would that be no. any more appealing or would it, would it still not, not for me? Yeah, no, that sounds bad. I don't want to, I can barely, I can barely keep up with the family I got, but like also you wouldn't have as many kids, but I'm just saying like in general, it doesn't really for me have anything to do with like, uh, that it's women or men like i'm not offended with men being in charge of things. like i just am one of those girls that is like yeah i don't care about that like i know some women are really weird about feminism and this and that and blah 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 they're holding them down and i'm like nah. i mean really a woman's gonna do what she's gonna do you're, you're not gonna hold her down if she doesn't want to be held down right i mean unless you're in a cold type situation i.e. some of them in Colorado City and such are, but I would never want another husband like two at once. No way. I can barely keep up. No way. I mean, I let's got... say that we ignored uh, the polygamy and the inbreeding and the cultish behavior and the lies. 
everything We're else sounds like own. it's pretty good though like what else why would you not what about the praying it? what about the culty like abraxy weird stuff i, I mean i don't know I, I still celebrate halloween that's kind of weird is yeah is it any is it any weirder to celebrate halloween or worship abraxas also mormons love halloween just so you know but really <laughs> Yeah, they don't not celebrate any holiday. They love them all. Uh huh. So I guess I'm I'm thinking of uh, Jehovah's Witnesses. The they don't do it. Yeah, do it. they're they not allowed to have any it. fun. No, like they don't you, do it. If anything. you even smile, you go to hell immediately. I think if you're a Jehovah's and Witness. you go to a dirty mattress in a tunnel. No, just kidding. That's somebody <laughs> <Okay>. else. <laughs> so, no, honestly, I think, I think maybe me... that'll be the next logo. We'll make a little dirty yeah. mattress tunnel dirty mattress tunnel something it's it's so bad like i just can't imagine being like for me now that i am not under any religion i just always think of like the the oppression i felt when i was in religion and now i don't feel that i just feel like god is right there there's no middleman you really don't need to do all this weird stuff you can just go to god it's simple and people don't want to make it simple because if it's simple then everyone will do it and so they have to make all these rules and things and make them feel extra special if they do all the things. And I'm just like, really, is that how we were created? Because I don't think so. Like, I think it's pretty basic. I think it's a lot easier than they want us to believe, in my opinion. I, well, I, I wonder sometimes that it's like a chicken or the egg situation where did it start with a, like a group of people saying, let's like, how do we control this other group or was it that there's so many people that were insecure that kept going to other people? Like, am I doing it right? Am I doing it right? right. Like, is this making God happy? Is this the right way I'm supposed to act? That's probably true. Think of how many people are that way. Like, really, there's not very many people in the world that are like, you know what? I'm not doing any of that. And I'm just going to go read my Bible and do my thing and talk to God. Like, most people are like, no way you need all these things and you need to be up and down on your knees and at the church service. And it's got to be a certain way and the magical rites or this or that, or this God or that God. And I just think it's simpler than that. I think that all of that is done to keep you from forming a real relationship with God and just reading your Bible, like just read your Bible, like figure it out. But people don't want to do that either. Ask how many people have really read the Bible. It's like most Christians have not read the Bible. They haven't. Yeah. They don't want to. What's, what's the meme of like the the people that wear like you it's know true. Led Zeppelin shirts and they're like name yeah. three Led Zeppelin songs. I wanted to say I want to walk yes. up to one of those people that's got like the you know Christ died for my sins. Like name three like three last names in the book of Numbers right now. And they'll be like, nope. There's yeah. there's like a hundred thousand in there. You can't name yeah. three out of the hundred thousand names. And I can't and right I now mean, either, to be honest. Yeah, no, I mean, I get it. Like, I get like not focusing on names or whatever, but they should at least read it. And even if you don't understand it, it's the living word. It'll help you with your life. Like since I've ditched the way I used to be very methodical about everything, very like how John D was really mathematical and all the things, but he couldn't channel God, right? Because he couldn't, he couldn't let go of his ego to do that. Like he couldn't, he couldn't channel anything. He couldn't channel demons. He couldn't channel anybody. You know, he was just screwed. So of course he gets killy and it doesn't surprise me that demons came. Right. Cause like he wasn't the most upstanding citizen, but whatever, like he just never could let it go to be simple. He wanted it to be difficult. And that's how people are. They want it to be this hard thing that they have to earn. And what does Jesus say in the Bible? Your, your works to me are like dirty rags. They're dirty rags. Like if you owe someone like a million dollars and you're super poor, like legitimately poor and you have nothing and you give them $5 to put on it, I got five on it. They're going to be like, keep your five bucks. Like what? Like, why would I take that? That's it's whatever, you know, it's not going to make a difference. You're already just, just go and do the teachings. Like try and be a good person. Don't be an asshole. Listen to the word. Like it's easy. It's simple for me now. And people aren't and I graceful I kind of feel enough. like Edward Kelly was the ultimate con man. Like, I feel like he, he was, just oh. saw the perfect mark. And oh my he was gosh. like, what? And you've got a, a young, hot wife that's my age? Yeah. Like, let's do this. I want to see yes, a picture please. of John D's wife. I want to I want to see if she was hot. Because it, it, it does make you wonder. 
It does. Well, you're in you're in luck. I've got a comic book. You got called... a picture? Oh I've, hell yeah! Well, it's I wouldn't say a picture. It's an illustration, but I've got a comic book called Occult Wife Swap, that is oh, about funny. John D and Edward Kelly. And yeah, we've we've illustrated. Um, J- her name was Jane Kelly, John and Jane. And yeah, oh, we've got funny. twelve uh pictures of Jane. Actually, I don't know if I can show any of them because they're fairly illicit. It is an an adult comic uh, book series. <laughs> That's so funny. The one that you just did, the one that you just released. The occult, uh, occult one, no. Uh, uh, adultoccult.com. Yes. It's not released yet. It's going to be coming out hopefully later this year. I usually wait for enough people to sign up and then I'll release and then it. Do it. But I laughed is- so bad when I saw that. I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be good. And I thought it was hilarious. So, but that's, I mean, I'm uh, sure. I'm, lots I'm of trying to see do. how many pages I can share before it starts getting saucy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Page six. Wow, okay, I, I can go to page six. Yeah, I'll do a quick one. All roll. right. Page oh no. Six. Oh my god, that was that I'm gonna have to edit that part out. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see it. It was so uh, fast. Yeah, I know, but the YouTube saw it, so that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. We'll, we'll edit You're that like, one hold out. on so a minute. Here so here here's an exclusive first look at the oh, first six boy. pages of a cult way swap. So here's Ed Kelly so knocking funny. on the door. John, oh, oh you know, no. it's so great to see you, buddy. Oh, who's that? Oh, that's you know, that's just Jane. Jane, go go back into your room. Jane, you know, we've got go company. to bed. Oh, that's and uh, so you know, she's like, oh no, I want to, you know, who's who's this guy? Because she's because <laughs> literally, he's like oh, almost in his seventies, I think. He's like in his sixties, seventies. Yeah, he's and old. She's in her 30s. Old, old. Yeah, and he's in his thirties. She's probably so, like, oh. I hope so. I hope that. Yeah. Good. So I mean, hey, they might have something in common. Ah. And uh, and he's just like, you know, sniffing his own farts like, over here. Uh-oh. Like I've got the coolest yeah, books ever. Whatever. You know, yeah. stop, stop playing around. You know. Oh well. He's like, we'll talk a little bit later. You know. Let's wait for John. Know. John, he, he goes to bed early. Channel that. Channel yeah, that. So yeah. We've got, we're we're gonna start talking about scrying, and then so oh, there's funny. like a little disturbance oh at the door. Gosh. And Jane's just checking to see what's going Jane. on. Can she? can we help you guys with anything yeah that looks and like then, me uh, oh just kidding <laughs> well and and this is where edward <sighs> kelly's like you know i'm actually talking to an angel right now and this exactly. is gonna sound crazy this is gonna sound crazy but he's saying that i need to sleep with your wife and you know like, what he says <laughs> yeah let me and, check you know, this out jane jane's helpful oh, and she so who's funny. she to stand in between you talking to an angel so yeah. she's she's good to go and I, i'll have to stop she's it here dtf she's dtf she she's all down, about it down to uh oh that <laughs> i like that we're gonna make something out of that <laughs> down to foretell down to yeah down to fornicate uh, down to well i yes i know that but <laughs> oh my gosh it's so there you funny. Go. great little preview You're like i know that part Occult wife swap. I down seen, to. I've seen the movie. I don't know. Uh, yes, it's super funny actually. And when I saw that come up, I was like, "Oh my gosh, no, he didn't." <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sure that's gonna sell good. I, I feel certain. like if if I don't, no one else will. So it's yeah, it's my gift you got to. The world. to. You have to. It sounds fun to me. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you again for coming on here. You've got a logo thank to show you. for it. Yes, and, uh, thank you so much. And we can get together and do a video one for for the next one. So awesome. give, give some thought as to like get what some ideas. And I'm thinking this is where the Cabbage Patch Babies come in. This is where yeah. what was what were all the the other things that we had uh, um, mentioned here? Cabbage Babies, Nephilim, uh, yeah, Mormon see. Missionary, all that fun stuff. Yeah, so so we can absolutely put all those other elements. This would be the perfect place to have the Cabbage Patch Babies. And the Nephilim, because they whip by in the background. Um, so it's yeah. like, those are the elements you talk about. But it seems like, you know, you're really trying to get back into Mormonism. So let's have this, like, no! Mormon temple as your logo. Ew! Because this is what you're... <laughs> right? This, no. is, this is your magic castle. That is the magic castle where magic happens, but not magic for me. Yes. <laughs> necromancy maybe <laughs> you're, you're selling it again let's stop before i, just I know, convert I love before it. We're even you gotta done. do it yeah <laughs> we're gonna talk about this more i found out some stuff i don't want to tell but i was trying to tell zertus and he was busy but i was like i found a golden nugget of mate i can definitely almost bet how he was like 
I don't know if he was really a Mason. I can probably pretty much put that to bed for him. Well, I don't think there's I any question like about if, if John... He was saying it might not be a mate. He was like, oh, I think they might have made it up. But I was like, oh. but there's some definitely strange things that I didn't know about the schooling of the Smith boys. So it was interesting. I do still attribute much to his mother and the Scottish background because she, her father was a direct immigrant from Scotland. So, uh, but yeah. Well It'll be fun. If you're wondering what the hell we're talking about, there'll be an episode. This will probably air before that one, by the way. Oh, gotcha. So Sorry. We'll have an episode where uh, Heidi and Andreas Zertis fix Mormonism. They find out the three <laughs> the three problems. There was only three. And well, I, we fixed two out of the three. We did we're our best. The third one. You'll yeah, have we to did our best. to part two where we fix the third part, hopefully. There you go. So. And we have to figure out about mass production of the underwear for Paranoid American because he really wants them. If you uh, saw my I mean, episode. <laughs> I, I want to do experiments with them and find out how magic they are. That's really so what I want to do. It's so I good. Live, I want to live stream all of it. Yes, you should. I think we should. It would right. be funny. <laughs> Thank you again. And uh, here's a little commercial that probably even has a Braxis in it. They said it was forbidden. They said it was dangerous. They were right. Introducing the paranoid American homunculus owner's manual. Dive into the arcane, into the hidden corners of the occult. This isn't just a comic. It's a hidden tome of supernatural power. All original artwork illustrating the groundbreaking research of Juan Ayala, one of the only living homunculologists of our time. Learn how to summon your own homunculus, an enigma wrapped in the fabric of reality itself, their power at your fingertips, their existence, your secret. Explore the mysteries of the Aristotelian, the spiritual, the Paracelsian, the Crowleyan homunculus, ancient knowledge lost to time, now unearthed in this forbidden tale. This comic book holds truths not meant for the light of day, knowledge that was buried, feared, and shunned. Are you ready to uncover the hidden, the paranoid American homunculus owner's manual, not for the faint of heart? Available now from Paranoid American. Get your copy at tjojp.com or paranoidamerican.com today.